This is the second topic on our journey of completely understanding what happens in the fetch your code execute cycle, and it's definitely the most important. Registers are very fast temporary storage locations inside of a CPU used during the FTE cycle. Registers can hold an address, a piece of data, such as 54, or an instruction, such as add. Just a note that all data in the CPU uses machine code, which is binary, which is zeros and ones. So 54 would be in binary, 00110110, not 54. That's the same for instructions, and we'll look into more detail about that in the assembly language topic in section 2.4. In the FTE cycle, instructions are fetched from RAM and transferred into the CPU's registers so they can be decoded and executed. RAM consists of thousands of numbered memory locations that store data or instructions. Now let's look at five specific named registers used in the FTE cycle, starting with the program counter, which stores the memory address of the next instruction to be fetched from RAM. This address is copied into the memory address register, MAR, which holds the address currently being accessed in RAM. After copying, the program counter is usually incremented by 1, as it always points to the address of the next instruction. I say usually, because it may change to a different value for a branch instruction, which we'll look at in the assembly language videos in section 2. Students often get confused between the PC and the MAR. The easiest way to remember it is that the PC holds the address of the next instruction, and the MAR holds the address of what you are accessing right now. And that could be an instruction you are fetching, or it could be data if you're reading or writing. The Memory Data Register, or MDR, temporarily stores the instruction or data when it has been fetched from RAM. What happens next depends on whether that fetched value is a piece of data or an instruction. If it is an instruction that has been fetched, then it is transferred into the current instruction register, CIR, to be decoded by the control unit for execution. The fifth and final register is the accumulator, which temporarily holds data currently being processed by the CPU, including values transferred from RAM via the MDR. It also stores the results of arithmetic and logic operations performed by the ALU. You can think of the MDR like a holding place for values fetched from RAM. If it's an instruction, it will go to the CIR, and if it's data the CPU currently needs, it will go to the accumulator. If the registers have been a bit confusing, don't panic, as we will return to this topic twice more. Firstly, for 1.1b, the FTE cycle, as you need to understand how and when the registers are used within the FTE cycle, and how and where data and addresses are transmitted to and from in each part of a cycle. And it will return in 2.4c, as you need to understand how assembly language makes use of registers, and that's the topic we will start looking at assembly language.